Hello, my name is Lynn Buller and I'm the Befriending Coordinator for Anaridia Network UK. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our Befriending Scheme. The scheme was launched in 2012 and is about sharing support, experience and knowledge and putting people in touch with each other. I asked members to give me a profile if they wanted to be a buddy. I'm going to read one out to you. I have congenital aniridia, which has affected three generations of my family. I have two children, one has aniridia. I have a guide dog and I enjoy bowling, mills out in the countryside. As you can see, this really helps give me a picture of the buddies and makes it easier for me to put them in contact with somebody else. It's also useful to have any information about any surgeries that you may have had. So how does it work? Well, people make contact with me through Aniridia Network UK's website. If you don't have access to the internet, then you can use the phone. Once you've contacted me, I will ask you a few questions about your condition and the sort of support you might want. I will then search our database to try and find a good match for you. Once I've done that, I'll contact the prospective buddy and ask them if they're willing to offer this service to you. Once they've agreed, I'll get back to you. Hopefully, once contact has been made, I can leave you to it. Although I will contact you within a few weeks just to make sure that everything's going well and to see if perhaps you might want another buddy. I'm going to tell you two stories about people who have been put in touch through our befriending scheme. The first is Heather and Rosie. Heather is the mother of two children. Her youngest is two years old and has sporadic aniridia and nystagmus. She was very concerned about her daughter's future and couldn't really see what it was going to look like. I decided to put her in touch with Rosie, who's 23, and who has a very positive attitude to life. It went extremely well, and this is what Heather has to say. I wanted a contact who had aniridia, as I felt that we'd been given lots of information, but were missing the personal aspect of living with the condition. Rosie was very open and honest, and it was really helpful to talk to her. She was able to explain a lot about the condition, it had either gone over our heads or we were unable to take on board at the time. Apart from Rosie's general positive attitude to life, she was able to discuss with me what she found helpful and supportive from both a parental and an educational point of view. I then contacted Rosie to see how it had gone for her. This is what Rosie says. My family didn't know anyone with aniridia when I was little and my future was unknown so it was really hard for my parents. I wanted to help someone so that their child has the best possible future and I'd be really happy to buddy somebody else. Mary and Owen's story. Owen is in her 60s and has sporadic aniridia, nystagmus and glaucoma. Her sight has deteriorated over time and she was anxious about mobility and there were delays to starting cane work. She was feeling quite down and isolated, and it was complicated as she was looking after her ageing mother. Owen had no access to the internet, and so all work was done over the phone. I decided to put her in touch with Mary, who has a very positive attitude to life, and whose sight had also deteriorated over time. This was another successful contact, this is what Owen has to say. It's good to have someone to talk to who understands what I'm going through. Mary is a lovely person and has really calmed me down and we talk for ages. <laughs>